Hi everyone, it's Bordrick here. In today's episode, I'd like to talk to you about whether I think gaming peripherals such as uh, specific uh, peripherals that are dedicated just for gaming make you improve or whether they're just a waste of money and how much you should really be spending on these. Uh, so let's get started. Obviously, this will mainly apply to the PC, although you can buy uh, some or there's a limited number of things you can get for the consoles such as... Uh, those stick hideners, I've never used them so I can't really comment on them, but if you think they improve your game and you've tried them, they're pretty cheap, uh, go for it. I don't really have anything against it because they're not really expensive and not really uh, worth talking about. The stuff we're going to be talking about is, uh, I'd say, $30 plus and it should be worth reviewing whether it will make you better or not. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that most gamers uh, use is obviously a gaming mouse. Uh, I think these are very necessary for gaming as you need the most precision, especially in first person shooters. I'm not sure whether you would need them much in MMOs, but I'm guessing you probably would. So a uh, gaming mouse definitely helps out, especially if you've got those extra buttons if you're not that fast with the keyboard. And that leads me on to my next topic, which is the keyboard. Uh, to be honest, you do not need a gaming keyboard. Obviously, if you're going to be gaming a lot, you may as well get one, but if, if, if you're going to buy a computer new and you want to make it a gaming computer, just spend the money which you would spend on the keyboard into a graphics card or CPU because you can get away with a ten dollar keyboard for a very long time as you don't as I personally have noticed keyboards don't really make much of a difference uh, but once you save up a bit I'd recommend getting about a seventy dollar keyboard this is Australian dollars equivalent so seventy dollar Australian uh, keyboard is equivalent to about fifty US dollar keyboard as the tech in USA is a lot cheaper. Anyway, uh, so as I would recommend that you get a gaming mouse, obviously you don't need a gaming keyboard. And then that leaves us to uh, the gaming headset. I think gaming headsets are very important. I'd aim for about a hundred dollar plus one, but once again, uh, if you're going to be uh, getting a gaming computer, spend that money on the, what's it called, the P on the PC components and not on your headset or keyboard or even mouse. Just get that afterwards, guys. And also, it, here comes another big part on the gaming peripherals, and that is a gaming monitor. And by gaming monitor, I mean a fast response rate, uh, just really fast refresh times of 120 hertz plus. And they can range from $300 to about $600. Me, myself, I've got a, on the higher end uh, of gaming monitors, it's the BenQ, I think, XL2027Z. So it's pretty high end, it's 144Hz. I personally have noticed that it's very different to my 60Hz, uh, 6 millisecond response rate. Acer. I've noticed the colours are probably about the same since you're paying so much for this uh, TN panel. Uh, I could go on for a long time but I'm sure you guys probably wouldn't want to listen to me going on for about half an hour. So I keep it short. I think that the gaming monitors are, are probably worth it if you're going to spend $300. Uh, but then again, uh, you're probably not going to want to buy a $600 one as once again, you can probably spend it more on your PC. Unless you've got the cash to get both, then it doesn't really matter. Then go all out. Then you shouldn't even be watching this video if you can afford it all. Uh, but if you're on a budget, definitely uh, stick to a $300 gaming screen. I definitely recommend them. Or then, then again, you've got the 1440p gaming, which is uh, also very important for some people. For me, it doesn't really matter because I'm used to 1080p, but if, if you're more accustomed to high resolutions, once again, you probably should get that monitor if you're building a gaming PC for it. And uh, once again, you shouldn't be watching this video because this is really if you're on a budget. And they're basically all the gaming peripherals that most people would consider. Then you've got the extras for computers like webcams. They don't really matter because you don't need them for gaming. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, 
as I said for the screens, it's basically whatever you can afford. If if you're willing to put in an extra three hundred dollars for a hundred and twenty hertz, do it because the hundred and twenty hertz is definitely worth it in my eyes. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later. Have a nice day.